What is up, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans? It's your old friend, Andy Carr Tim, here with your Tampa Bay Buccaneers Daily Blitz. Welcome into the show. Welcome into the network here at FanStream Sports. Find us at FanStreamSports.com, the FanStream Sports mobile app, our YouTube channel, and wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, and boy, howdy, I guess it wasn't all Daniel Jones' fault, was it? As the Buccaneers head into New York, they completely strip down and embarrass Tommy DeVito and the New York Giants, 30-7. to seven. Baker Mayfield, not even close player of the game. Uh, the best play I thought of this game, the most exciting, was his touchdown run. He catapulted into the end zone on a 10-yard scramble for one of Tampa Bay's four rushing touchdowns on the day as the Buccaneers beat the Giants and Tommy DeVito. 37 on Sunday, snapping a four-game losing streak and extending New York's losing streak to six. The Giants' decisions this week to bench and then release quarterback Daniel Jones did nothing to help the NFL's lowest-scoring offense. DeVito threw for 189 yards. Now, most of that was in the second half. I think he only had 30-something yards passing on, like, three of five in the first half. So, almost all of that was in the second half. Uh, with New York well on its way to uh, its sixth straight loss at home, where it is winless this season. Meanwhile, the Buccaneers dominated in every phase of the game in a near-perfect performance that featured touchdown runs of one yard by Sean Tucker, six yards by Bucky Irving, one yard by Rashad White, and the aforementioned 10-yard scamper by, by Baker. After recent losses to the Ravens, the 49ers, and the Chiefs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers now move within one game of idle Atlanta in the NFC South. The Bucs improved to 5-6. and six. Tampa Bay scored on five of its first six possessions to open up a 30 to nothing lead, and none were more exciting than Mayfield's TD run with 12 seconds left in the first half. On a second and goal from the 10, he avoided pressure and went for the end zone. He got hit low, and he got hit high at around the two-yard line, and then he went airborne. To cross the goal line, the ball came loose when he hit the turf, but he jumped up on it and flexed, kind of mocking the uh, Tommy DeVito go-to celebration there as the Bucks took a 23 to nothing lead at the time. Mayfield sustained a stinger in the fourth quarter, finishing 24 of 30 for 294 yards. Mike Evans returned from a three-game absence uh, because of a hamstring injury, had five catches on six targets for 68 yards. Irving had a had 87 yards rushing and six catches for 64 yards as Bucky Irving continues to impress here for the uh, for the Bucks and man what a what a draft pick find that was in the fourth round out of Oregon for for Jason Light the Bucks held New York to three first downs and 45 total yards in the first half and they finished with 450 yards to the Giants, 245. DeVito had a, had a 17-yard run in the fourth quarter to set up a one-yard touchdown run by Devin Singletary. Uh, the brash New Jersey native who gave the Giants a spark last year did little in his first action this season. He was sacked four times, including one in the fourth quarter, which forced him to go to the bench for one play. Uh, injuries for the Bucks, Of course, Tristan Wirfs was out with that knee injury. He did not play. Uh, linebacker Joe Tryon Troyanka was lost to an ankle injury in the second quarter. Safety Jordan Whitehead had a pec injury in the fourth quarter. Uh, we will get more updates on those here as the week goes on. Uh, next week, the Bucks are at Carolina in what could really be a trap game after this season, the way it's gone. Just uh, the, 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 the Panthers getting manhandled right now by the Chiefs here on Sunday. So nothing to overlook. Let's, let's just not take the game too lightly, Todd. Okay, let's, let's, Pay attention. Let's prepare for the game. Let's get the boys ready to go. Let's equip them thusly so that we don't take the Panthers too lightly next week. That is one you're going to need as you attempt to catch the Falcons for the division uh, the rest of the way. Uh, after the Panthers, the Bucks will have the, uh, the Raiders at home. Then you are at the Chargers, at the Cowboys, who had a weird but nice looking win over right over their division rival Washington today. If you got to see the end of that game, it was pretty crazy, especially from a special team standpoint. Uh, then back 
Carolina at home, and then New Orleans at home to finish the season on January 5th. So lots of opportunities for the Bucks to finish off strongly, uh, but it's going to take some work. Bucker's got to play. Buck, Bucker? Baker has got to play more like he did today. We, we're going to need Mike Evans back 100%. He looked good today in his first game back, and then we're going to need more more play from the defense. Got to see more from the defense like he did today, did today against a really bad Giants team. So it is what it is. That's what I would like to see, and that's what I thought about today's game. Let me know what you guys thought at IndyCar Tim on Threads, on X. Oh, I don't know why I keep saying Threads first. On X, on Threads, on the new Blue Sky app. Go find me over there, whatever that is. I'm on it, my publicist says, so I'm on it. Um, and then tell me what you thought about the game today, Baker's performance, the defensive performance. Uh, or just comment in the YouTube comment section here underneath the video here at Fanstream Sports. Appreciate you very much. Uh, and we will preview Panthers for you this week. Talk more about the Giants win. Until then, boys and girls, we'll see you.